everybody. We're entering into Kashgar now. Kashgar is about one kilometer away from here. Okay. Okay, guys. First, we planned that we will stay some time in Kashgar, but since the weather is quite hot, and I changed my program at the eleventh hour, and it's a weekend. We don't want to stay in Kashgar on the weekend. We can go straight to Tashkurgan, and this road is heading towards Tashkurgan, and this place is about twenty kilometers from downtown towards the direction of Tashkurgan. So now we are heading towards Tashkurgan, and we will find the place over there because the weather. Is quite comfortable in Tashkurgan rather than in Kashgar. What is the temperature today, Shin? In Tashkurgan today, Tashkurgan temperature is sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, daytime at night is one. At at night is one. One degree. So, so cold. So one means at night you yeah. should be wearing proper clothes, huh? Yes. Okay. Yes. How about? At night is quite cold. Uh, how about at here night in Tashkurgan? Snow. What is the temperature hmm. over here? It Kashka seems, is about a uh, twenty-five. I'm not sure. No, Let me I, I don't think it's twenty-five. I think it's about thirty or thirty-five. Because I can feel the heat here. Thirty, thirty. You're right. Okay, Very now see this way. This place, Xinjiang, Kashgar, is famous for this tree, poplar. poplar. Uh, it's called poplar and white white witch. I forgot there was uh, people usually call poplar. Ah, people commonly call it poplar. This is a most common tree, and this is also very common in uh, Peshawar too. In our, uh, I think it's because this tree is suitable at the dry places where this less tree, rain. which according to my experience, it's quite soft wood, but uh, yeah. the color of the wood is white from inside. So uh, there is another name of this tree is white birch. Oh, B I R C H. Oh, know white it's... birch. Okay, yeah. so the white birch. So it means that when you cut this wood or you use it, it's mm. very soft and it's white from inside. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's go on and see if there is some interesting thing comes on the way. We'll share with you. Okay, guys. Let me tell you something very interesting in whole Xinjiang. one whenever you want to fill up the fuel tank they will check your id scan your face and after your confirmation then you can enter into the gas station and you can fill up the gas it means one chinese id and one chinese face is all of the time required if you want to travel inside xinjiang Okay. Now, the, before we enter into the gas station, we must do the ID check and face recognition. Now, it is for the safety reason. This is the only place I notice in whole China where you have to do this thing. Other than that, other cities there is no check. You move freely and you can do whatever you want to do. There is no check over there. Thank you. Tashkurgan is about two hours drive from Hunjarab Gate, and about five hours drive from uh, Kashgar. But trouble with Tashkurgan. A, having the camera, every kilometer is having the camera which can check your speed. If your speed is more than sixty some places or more than eighty some places, you will be fine. So you have to be very careful about the cameras on the way. And for keeping the eye on the camera, you should have a proper updated GPS. Uh, so now we are heading towards uh, Tashkurgan. You can see the view here, and right 
uh, in front of this i can see the high mountains even the snow capped mountains i can see it i'm not sure can you see it or not but uh, let me wait and when i get a closer look i will share with you okay then tell me what kashgar is famous for do you have any story or something interesting about kashgar actually kashgar is a very old city kashgar was one of the most important city in the old silk road and there was a very famous story in this in this city and it's not only a legend it's a true story it was in 16 uh, 1600 uh, ad i mean like 1600 some something like this say, say 400 years before yeah 400 no, or, no. Uh, 2600 years before. 600 or 700 years before when the china was in the uh, dynasties There was small, a very famous uh, dynasty that is the emperor emperor's name called Qianlong Qin Dynasty. Maybe you know, maybe it's, it's quite famous uh, Qin Dynasty. Then in this dynasty, they have this emperor having many many different kings uh, in every places. Kashgar, you can say South Xinjiang, was uh, occupied by one of the king. and this king actually supposed to give the kind of bribe <laughs> or not a bribe i think you're talking about some kind of a contribution uh, or tribute or tribute, maybe exactly. maybe a taxes or taxes, something taxes yes uh, to okay. the emperor every year hmm. and uh, this king having a daughter the do- this this daughter the speciality of this daughter is when she was born she born with very good smell from her body naturally mm. and she was very beautiful girl she was very uh, educated girl so the emperor's eye came on her so the emperor she, maybe wanted she to, became famous yeah the because emperor was... wanted to marry her so the emperor asked the king to give his daughter to the emperor and this uh, princess of course she refused First of all, she doesn't agree with this kind of marriage because for the political relationship, you have to give your daughter to the emperor to another kingdom to make your own position stronger. So she didn't accept it. She refused it. But the emperor's order, nobody can refuse. So she has to obey it. Then the king sent the daughter to the emperor. The emperor tried his level best to please the this princess but the princess never accepted this em, uh, the emperor and till her death her only wish was uh, to send her dead body back to her own country so the emperor fulfilled everything whatever the princess asked of course the last wish too so when she passed away the emperor sent her body to her own city that is Kashka and mm. they made a tomb over here and the emperor the, no sorry the princess buried in his uh, father's uh, graveyard i mean his family's graveyard together with the forefathers together with her forefathers all the family members together so that even now people go there to it's it, it's a muslim state Kashgar is a Muslim state, and that king was famous for the Islamic uh, religion spreading. Mm, so, so you mean that that uh, girl's father, that princess father, did a lot of job to spread so, Islam yeah, in this to region. To spread Islam in this uh, in this area, and uh, uh, look at the camels married. here. The two humps camels are right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay, now Chen, we are heading, and you can see the mountain Himalayas are right in front of us. You can see they are standing so beautifully, and you can see the snow-capped mountains. And we are going to cross this, and after crossing this, it will take about two hundred kilometers, and we will be in Tashkurgan. Maybe we will be taking more than four hours to cross this place. Yes, actually the. the 
place. First, we crossed the desert. Now we are going to cross all the high, high, big, big mountains. Uh, that and that view was will very be... interesting. Didn't you notice this? They were also having a snow-capped mountain. Yeah. Uh, and and there was no plantation, no tree, nothing on it. Same, somewhat like Gilgit mountains, but <laughs> maybe the Gilgit, the valleys are having some trees or some greenery. But there, the Gobi Desert was having nothing. Yes. Here it's hard to have any plantation or any grass or any view. Whatever you can see in the camera is just a part of this place. The government is trying to do something. They were trying to develop some something over here to try to grow. But soon I think you will be watching there will be more bald headed mountains will be coming ahead. Okay, please tell me something about Tashkurgan. Tashkurgan according to my knowledge is a small county of Kashgar. Exactly. Right? Yes. And the the population in Kashgar is about uh, 40,000 and mostly the people are Tajiks and they are, that is a Muslim majority people. Uh, one thing which according to my knowledge and I want to share it with my friends that ta they made the airport. Uh, the airport is in Tashkurgan which is uh, two hours drive from Khunjarab. Most of the people who are traveling to China, they want to come to China. If you buy the international air ticket from Pakistan, it's quite expensive. But if you come by bus to Tashkurgan and take a flight from there, from Tashkurgan, it, it can be very cheaper. It can be a few hundred yen because internally the government is encouraging the people of this area so that they can travel and the people from other parts of China can also come here and they can uh, uh, take part or contribute in the economy of this uh, local people. Yes, so it is called the taxi in the air. So the, by air taxi. Mm, so it must be very cheap. Yeah, for example, like a few days before, before we were deciding to travel by car and I was checking for my own knowledge, so I checked out. Tashkurgan to Ulmuchi, Ulmuchi, Ulmuchi to mainline to Changsha, it's just a 1,000 yuan for Not the so AD. much money. Yeah. yeah, it's not so much money But if all. you travel straight to Pakistan or Islamabad from Changsha or something, six the money is 6,000 yuan, yeah. right? Yeah. It's quite, one side is 6,000. Well, single side is sure. So, so the, why not to just, and, and another thing, people who are coming from, Pakistan, you see, they they can enjoy the view on the way. Punjab people come and they just go to that gate and they enjoy all the way. It's 15 hours drive from Islamabad to Punjab. It's quite interesting and quite beautiful, don't you it think? It is so? also the first time for me to come to this area and I hope that we will show all the different views to everybody. And I'm also excited to see that too. Sure. Have a look. Here the mountain, this road is going along the river and the river water is somewhat like grayish and the mountain, some places are muddy, brown, some places are red and I think maybe later they will change the color to black too but at present I cannot and they're very sticky it's not like a mud or something and there is no plantation on these mountains somewhat like Gilgit mountains uh, do you want to say something about this terrain okay. it seems like uh, this mountains having different colors like red brown, black, how it can so many different colors mix together and make a mountain together? Yeah, this is the question. I, I mean, they, they cannot see. On our left hand side, I can see uh, the same one mountain is having more than four colors. Yeah, the one exactly. One is red, I can see, black, I can see, brown, I can see, gray, I can see. It's a very beautiful color. In front of us, uh, the mountain, maybe they can see it. They are in 
three colors they can see brown black and red so this is quite beautiful huh? yeah yeah so now that i can feel it that the heat which I, we are feeling in kashigarh is no more here i can feel the maybe sooner i have to stop the ac and enjoy the fresh air sure okay guys i will uh, let you be able to enjoy and watch you can see right in front of me about at my 11 o'clock you can see snow capped mountains and you can see the view here i will let you be able to enjoy this journey together with us for some time okay so see the uh, other part of uh, khunjarab gate because every time you people come to one side of the khunjarab gate and that is belongs to pakistan but here coming to this part uh, of china or coming to the border you must have a special permission there is no way that you can drive all the way from any city and come to visit this part of china uh, for the chinese people they must take border pass it's called border pass and for the foreigners must have proper documents and if they are from another country they should have the visa for pakistan most of the uh, foreigners they don't encourage them to come to this this side because i don't know what is the reason uh, maybe some national uh, issues or some uh, other things which the chinese government they don't want the foreigners or other people to come to know about this place actually all the border areas in china it's not uh, allowed for the chinese people to go and travel there uh, they can come if suppose they are traveling and crossing the border they can go but otherwise uh, it's not allowed okay enjoy yourself let's see uh, let me show you if i remember something about this place i will share with you i'm driving at the speed of 90 uh, okay uh, another thing if suppose you want to come and drive all by yourself there is a international chamber of commerce in pakistan karachi you should have a permission from them and they might be asking you some kind of security money that you So well, if you want to take your car and drive all by yourself but remember one more thing for coming to china especially entering into xinjiang you should have a chinese face or chinese id otherwise there is no way for you to fill up your uh, fuel tank uh, they will not let you to fill up the fuel tank i will try to get more information about this matter that if suppose some people from neighboring country wants to visit china what they will do without a chinese face or without a chinese id look at the snow cap mountain right at my 11 o'clock beautiful and right along the road there is a small i would say creek but maybe they call it a river is flowing along this road and the color of this river is uh, somewhat grayish and uh, i know on pakistan side the color of this river becomes uh, some places dark gray or you can say some places black i am not sure if you you can see the river on my left hand side is right along, uh, going along the road at present we are crossing pamir mountains pamir is a range coming from uh, tajikistan and and joining near the pamir knot and from that knot there are three ranges karakuram himalayas and this pamir so we are about to, uh, now at present passing through pamir pamir range and then later once i cross this place i will try to show you the himalayas 
This is another side of our car, and another side of the road. The river is passing from one side to another side. Along the mountain is going on, but now the river is a little bit far away from the road. Maybe you cannot feel the water, cannot see the water. Beside the mountain, now we can see the small, small houses. I think those houses made by the government, they organized the local people here together. Yeah, it is right beside the river. River is behind these houses. We are just one kilometer away from Kashgar's toll gate. Oh. After entering into the toll gate, it means that we have entered into the city. city. Do you know what does Kashgar mean? Kashgar actually in Chinese, the Chinese people call them Kashi, Kashi, city of Kashi. It is Jade. City of Jade. What's Jade? Jade is a stone. It's a, it's a precious stone. Like a gemstone? Kind of, yes. I am very close to the toll gate and it's written both in Chinese and Arabic letters. And it's written Kashgar. Kashgar. And look at the traffic waiting for us. How much time will it take to cross this? You, can, you could have line. gone to the yellow side. Yellow side? Uh, oh, yellow side. Oh, that ETC is there, right? Uh. Okay. So why should we waste our time here? So let's go to the ETC. Let them wait. Such a big queue, so many. Okay. Keep waiting, buddies. We are leaving. Bye-bye, slow pop. See, the gate is open for me. No well, problem. There is a police check again. Police check is again? No, don't tell me there is another police check here. Come on here. <laughs> the police police check is everywhere. Oh, police check? Yeah, we need to check. What? Are we terrorists or not? Okay, this is a police check and we are crossing through the police check and the camera is on, which is not a good thing. Maybe they will say, oh, what are you people doing here? So we best turn off the camera now. And this is the only place in whole China where the police is allowed to carry the weapons. So we can first pass it for now. No, let, so let's... No check anymore. Yeah, there's no because, check. Uh, the beginning, before we enter into the city, they have already done one-time check. Okay, great. So this is... Done. Yep. So we don't need to check it again. So we are inside Kashgar. Yes. So no, we have you to are, pass yes, through the Kashgar. Officially, Kashgar. welcome to Kashgar. You have officially entered. Officially, welcome to Kashgar. <laughs> you how, have how entered the food? into Kashgar. How about the food? We maybe can have the food in Tashgar again. Tashgar again. You want to go because to Because that's uh, our, uh, our destination. Is, sorry, it's Tashgar again. Yeah, we need to meet some people And then, over there. And then I'll meet Amna. Amna will be a little late. I think you should wait a little more <laughs> for seeing Amna, right? I watched her grow. Right. <laughs> I can never see her. So, do you want to share some more information about Kashka? Kashka is uh, right beside the desert, Taklamagan. Desert. What does so it most mean, Taklamakan? Desert. Do you know the meaning of Taklamakan? Sorry, I don't know. Okay, you don't know. I will tell you Chinese. The <laughs> meaning of Taklamakan is once you enter, you will not come out. Yeah. It means you are dead. Uh, this is the meaning of Taklamakan. Uh, yeah? So when, uh, before uh, we enter into Kashgar city, we saw the tornado with our. Uh, very but I didn't get to go in it. I want to go in it. Hmm. Look at the line of the trucks over here. We need to turn. Be careful. We need I to think... turn? Yep. No, we need to turn to where? Right hand side. Yes. 
Okay, let's turn, huh? I think these places of China is um, famous for the trucks. I need to turn here, right? First, cross the traffic line. Cross the... No, I'm in, in the turning place. Okay, I, I will take the U-turn. What else? Just now we crossed the police check. The police check, the border pass and the... IDs for the Chinese and passport for the foreigner. Uh, they asked me to go to one room just beside the barrier and I went inside, they took the passport, they did something on their system and within two minutes they returned me the passport and I came back. And I'm on my way back to Tashkurga. Now there is a tunnel coming, I have never used this tunnel before. Maybe I used this road maybe 23 years before. At that time, this road was a very bad road. Even you can see there was no road at that time. It was just uh, uh, maybe a track, just a track or jeepable jeep jeepable track. And uh, now let's see, there's a tunnel coming. I, I have no memory about this tunnel that time that there was a tunnel i don't think they have, have any memory for this tunnel let's see how long is this tunnel Jim? the length you don't know okay anyway we can turn on the lights this is the rule of the game once you are ent entering into tunnel the speed limit should not be more than 80 and should not overtake and should not change the lane these are the rules of tunnel in china so this tunnel seemed to be long, but I'm not sure how long it is. Uh, I think 1.6 kilometer or something. I just saw one number on the wall. Okay. Oh, you gave me full light, you know. Are the Pamir mountains here? Yeah? Of course, these are the very big mountains, very high mountains. Uh, do you think we can manage to reach before dark to Just Tashkurga? The border custom sent a message. Ah. The, light, the daylight will get open at about 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock in Tashkurga. Seems we will be reaching about 10 o'clock. So one hour still we have to drive in the dark. Or uh, how about how long are these mountains here? Okay. Just now we crossed the police check. The police check, the border pass and the IDs for the Chinese and passport for the foreigner. Uh, they asked me to go to one room just beside the barrier and I went inside, they took the passport, they did something on their system and within two minutes they returned me the passport and I came back. And I'm on my way back to Tashkurga. Now there is a tunnel coming, I have never used this tunnel before. Maybe I used this road maybe 23 years before at that time this road was a very bad road even you can see there was no road at that time it was just uh, uh, maybe a track just a track or jeepable jeep, jeep track and uh, now let's see there's a tunnel coming I, I have no memory about this tunnel that time that there was a tunnel I don't think they have, have any memory for this tunnel. Let's see how long is this tunnel, Jim? I don't see the length you don't know. Okay, anyway, we can turn on the lights. This is the rule of the game. Once you are ent entering into tunnel, the speed limit should not be more than 80 
and should not overtake and should not change the lane. These are the rules of tunnel in China. So this tunnel seems to be long, but I'm not sure how long it is. Uh, I think 1.6 kilometers or something. I just saw one number on the wall. Give me full light, you know. Wow. You don't need to turn on the full beams. Okay. Seem to be quite long tunnel. How long is this tunnel? Yeah, these are the Pamir mountains here. Yeah? Of course, these are the very big mountains, very high mountains. Uh, do you think we can manage to reach before dark to yes, touch no, the border? Customs sent a message. Ah. The, light, the daylight will get open at about nine o'clock. Nine o'clock in Tashkurda. Seems we will be reaching about ten o'clock. So one hour still we have to drive in the dark. Or uh, how about how long are the, these mountains here? Okay. On our right side there is a lake. Very fresh water I can see over there. And it, it's quite it is lake. yeah, it's quite a big lake and it's uh, inside the mountains. the mountain you can see some yachts the people made the local people made these yachts for the people to stay here and uh, beside the yachts you can see some motor homes and some ready-made rooms okay look at the wind the wind is blowing the sand on the road and I think this is a part of the river and there is one gas station on our left hand side and the snow capped mountain right in front of us uh, and uh, right in front of us on right hand side at about one o'clock or two o'clock you can see the river it's beautiful right in front of us you can see a white place where uh, this seemed to be a place for the river to flow and I can see a snow capped mountain right in front of me at my 11 o'clock. Beautiful. And the mountains here are, uh, I mean, no plantation, and you can see it's sandy and sticky sand. I don't think there is very soft. Okay, guys, see how did they cut the mountains into two and see the snow capped mountains. According to the Beijing time, it's 9 o'clock and the border police told us that uh, it will be a sunset at uh, 9 o'clock according to the Beijing time. But we are far west towards Pakistan, so I think the sunset time should be according to the Pakistan time and that is somewhere half past 7 and according to the Beijing time it will be half past 10. Look at the beautiful view of the snow-capped mountain. We are climbing up the mountain and here, see, it looks like a spider is sitting on the a white spider is sitting on the mountain and the clouds has covered it with a, like a veil around it. Beautiful. No, 
down the road. Look at the open area. We are on the top of the mountain. It's all open area. And just feel like a flat land. And on our left and right, we can see the snow capped mountain. Ahead of us, we can see there are some buildings. Actually, we have entered to the road towards the Kalasu port. Is, is that the Karasu port? Right, exactly, yes. right hand side? Yes. Right hand side? Yes. Okay, let me take a close up. And what is on the left hand side? Uh, okay, this. Logistic company. What, what is the importance of Karasu port? Is this the port uh, <laughs> heading towards this? From here you can go to Tajikistan? I think so. So this port is about, I can make you understand, this port is about. 61 kilometer 61 kilometer this port is about 61 kilometer away from Tash, Tashkurgan but I saw it on um, on Google map it was 14 kilometers and here it is saying 61 kilometer okay great so this is all the area for the ports yes okay and, uh, and how about the Khunjara port how far is Khunjara port from here Maybe it is after Tashkurga, right? Yes. So this port is somebody made a very nice place, a double story. Is it a hotel or what? <laughs> On our right side, you can see. Is it a rest area? What is this place? It seems it's under construction. I can see there are rooms here. People are giving the rooms. I think the people are giving rooms on rent or what? Maybe. Is this a place for renting room? Or, and what is that black building? That is under construction. Something to do with the service area, say. I think this is a service area, rest area. And people yeah, will... we are very close to Tajikistan, actually. Kalasu port is the channel in between China and Tajikistan. So that is the reason the business community who is coming from Tajikistan they need a place to spend the night and they need the place to eat something so this they are making a rest area here that's cool so this Tashkurgan is joining about four different countries Pakistan Afghanistan Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan so we showed you the port which is just Connecting the Tajikistan border. Cool. We are close to Tashkurgan. It's about 31 kilometer away. But here we can see a um, little population. Seem to be a small village. And uh, I don't know the name of this village. Let me see if I can read. Taghar. Something like that. Tagma. Tagma. Tag no, Ta This name of this place is Tagarma. Okay, nice place. Tagarma. Look at the mountain, Alina. See? See? Is it beautiful? You can see the finger of the mountains. They are beautiful. 24 kilometers away. 24. 24. Okay. What kind of place is this right in front of us? It's a spot for the view. You mean the spot for view? Yes. You can you can stop your car here yes. and then make a video they, they or call this place a look in Chinese is it's showing that uh, the snow mountain is going ahead to receive the guest from far distance. Wow. Beautiful. Look at this mountain. It's also bowing the head and also maybe opening the arms to come on, baby. Where are you? I am been I've been waiting for you for a long time. Oh. Okay, I don't know what is this place. I think if you want to go to Tashkurgan, you must cross this building. 
this building is uh, something to do with the security, am I right? Yeah, is it a police check or what? Yeah. This is a police check. Yes. How to say this for the PSV? Okay, no talking, Alina. See the mountain. How to say this name of this mountain? The father of the mountain? Or the mother of the mountain? The snow mountain. Not a snowman mountain. Snow mountain. Must be yes, the child of the snow mountain. This is a child. Uh, where is the father? Where is the mother? Where is the brother? Where is the sister? The father and mother, especially the father, is the biggest. So where is that one? Biggest, okay. In the heaven. In the heaven, okay. <laughs> Look at the foothill of the mountain. I can see some small, small villas. I don't think that the local people have made this. I feel this is made by the, the government. Chinese government made these small, small villas for the local people. Because local people mostly live on the top of mountains somewhere in the mud houses. But here they made very small and very fashionable, nice and beautiful place for the people or the local people to live. I think they can use this place for even renting it or maybe for the business purpose like giving some rooms on rent, something like this. It's a nice <laughs> Just now I was the track due to the majestic view of this mountain range. These are the Pamir Mountains. They are not the Himalayas, not the Hindu Kaish, not the Karakur. They are the Pamir Mountains coming from Tajikistan, heading to China. But of course they will be meeting at the Pamir North Point where all the three different ranges starts. One is Hindu Kaish, Karakuram, Himalayas, and Pamir is also there for. We are climbing down. Yes or no? Yep. And we need to keep the car in low gears because it's going down. The road is climbing down. You know, I always forget because we, we are used to Single One way, side. Single, single, single side. Uh, single side. And here it is two way and, and I forget every time. Mm. Mm. And this is not a good sign. And uh, after tomorrow, you should remember you will be driving on the left side. Yeah, maybe. You will not yeah. forget. No, I, I don't remember. I think that I can remember. <laughs> yeah. It will be like I will keep the car on my side, right? Mm. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. then my driver side, not, uh, not the passenger side, side but yes. the driver side is my side. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. So I will try. Yes. Okay. Nice, beautiful. I think we are going to the valley. And this is the Taj Kurgan Valley, still having 11 kilometers here. Maybe can you close the window and put on the jacket? Okay guys, we are entering into Taj Kurgan. It's about, from here, it's about 10 kilometers. Taj Kurgan is a big valley. But I think these are the suburbs, the outskirts of the Taj Kurgan. And uh, they have some small, small villages with some small, small houses. It seems to be like a big valley and surrounded by high snow-capped mountains. One is right in front of me, one is at my two o'clock and the other one is uh, at my nine o'clock. So we are in the valley. 
valley and we are in a very vast valley maybe during the daytime i can show you properly and the construction is somewhat like gilgit construction i can notice this thing the rocks they are using it like the rocks we have in gilgit so so it's not so far from sost and gilgit it is just two hours drive from punjab to tashkurgan from punjab pass to and sost is the same distance about two hours drive from punjab to sost so in between is a no man's land and uh, there are some small small villages and the last village according to my knowledge is dafida which is about an hour drive from Punjab gate and the first town which comes after Punjab gate is Sost and there are some small small more towns there uh, which are little away so you can say one of the town i remember correctly is Udagad tomorrow i will show you the airport in Tashkurgan too and some places of interest today But today I think you can enjoy the view of this big mountain right in front of me and this mountain is telling me that I am a mountain a majestic mountain so respect me so we do respect the mountain and we hope you people will also pay respect Alina you should also pay some respect to the mountain okay the mountain is asking for the respect okay thank you very much seem to be a nice town the roads are nice big oh, nice. neat clean i don't know where we are heading to China Pakistan Friendship Road Oh this is called China Pakistan Friendship Road Where is the friendship <laughs> Where is the traffic circle because I remember there was a eagle in the traffic circle I want to go and see that eagle And here and what is the use of this yellow what is this for see what what is this decoration no 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 this is for weighing machines they can weigh the truck the weight of the truck it can tell you the weight of the truck yeah this is for weighing weighing purpose i was thinking to take some cans and take some fuel maybe on the way i don't know can i get the fuel or not wow yeah this uh, tashkurgan seem to be nice at night time huh? it's not so bad yeah come on it's a small town but seem to be nice place then where do i have to turn can you tell me i know your hotel is too straight where is the that hotel <laughs> 